Hi, my name is Dr. Jordan Carcabell. I'm a cosmetic dermatologist and Mohs surgeon. And today I'm gonna to discuss a very sad but interesting case about a hate crime that happened here in Chicago. My patient had been injured on the streets of Chicago for no reason by another person and was left with scars on his forehead that were disfiguring and really bothered him. There are many treatment options for scars, but when I see a scar like this that has depth to it, so pocking, and it's pretty significant, you know, pools of, of loss of skin, I think that we need to do laser and some other more surgical interventions. In this case, and I'll explain more, I did subcision, I did TCA cross, and I did CO2 laser resurfacing. So the patient has a little bit of pigment to his skin. So the first thing I did was prep his skin with a skin lightening cream. I usually use combinations of hydroquinone, tranexamic acid, kojic acid, things like that. And I usually prep for two to four weeks before I do anything. So when we were ready to begin the procedure series, and it's always a series of three when I do scars because I just get better results. I started with TCA cross, which is a very potent acid. And we use it a lot for acne scars to lift scars that are you know, pocked ice pick scars, sometimes rolling scars, but it kind of brings, it irritates the base of that scar and lifts it up a little bit. So it's using very specific amounts of this strong acid to the base of that scar. That's the first step. So the second step is where we use subcision. And subcision, what it does is it's using the sharp tool under the skin to release any tethering of the scar. This is a concept I also use a lot in just simple acne scarring. But in this case, I felt that there was some tethering from that scar, keeping it kind of you know pitted. And so using this sharp tool under the skin, I released whatever I could feel that was tethering that collagen down. The final step is using a fractionated CO2 resurfacing laser. You can use another type of laser, a non-ablative resurfacing, but I chose to use a CO2. It might be considered a little risky in skin of color, but because we pre-treated, I was not worried. So I used fractionated resurfacing instead of fully ablative. So it just means you get partial columns of the laser energy into where the wound is. So the acid lifts up the scar, the subcision releases it from the bottom, and then the laser injures it to regenerate new collagen in a homogenous way. After a treatment like this, you wanna protect your skin from the sun. That's the number one thing. And I say protect from the sun for at least 30 days. Starting the day of, you can cleanse the area that was treated with warm soapy water and then apply Vaseline frequently, multiple times through the day. The skin should heal in about five to seven days. I typically perform these procedure sets about six to eight weeks apart. So the before and after that you see here today is not after one treatment, that's after a series of three. And then that final photo is probably three months after the last treatment. If you're dealing with a deep pitted scar or something that you've acquired from an injury or from a previous surgery, there's hope, we can help you. The biggest thing I'll say is that I love to get into these scars or start manipulating them early. I think a lot of times people believe that they need to wait six months to a year to see what that scar is gonna look like. And maybe that's true, but I always get a better result when I can get in there right away. So the patient that I showed you today, I started working on him weeks after the injury. So probably six weeks after he healed. So really early intervention is key here. We can manipulate that scar better if we get to it right away. So make sure that you consult with your dermatologist, find out your options and make those decisions together. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe and drop any questions or comments below. Thank you.